Joining us now to talk about it, the man who offered that quote, Sam Grover, staff attorney for the Freedom From Religion Foundation, and Dr. Gordon James Klingenschmidt, a chaplain with the Pray in Jesus Name Project. So Sam, why did your organization get in this fight? Well, thank you. Good morning, Congressman. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, we can hear you. Yes. Oh, fantastic so much. Your, your connection is breaking up a little bit on my side, but thank you for covering this important story about the Navy removing Bibles from Navy Lodge hotels. Uh, our organization, the Pray in Jesus Name Project, is asking people to please call the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, Congressman Buck McKeon, and ask him to investigate this, to hold hearings, to stop the Navy's purge of Bibles from hotel rooms. Of course, they're provided free by the Gideons or other organizations. Many of our veterans pay money out of their own pocket to make sure that sailors have access to Bibles, not only on Navy ships, of course, where they may have a chaplain, but when they're traveling away from home and they may be staying at a Navy hotel. Instead, I have a memo here signed by uh, Michael Bockelman, the vice president of uh, NEXCOM, the director of the Navy Lodge program. And he says he is advising uh, installation commanders to determine what their policy is and the method to remove religious materials currently in the guest hotel rooms. They've done it in, on paper. It's not an imaginary policy. They're physically removing the Bibles from the Navy hotels. And uh, we thank you for that, Dr. Klingenschmidt. But let me get back to Sam and his situation with the Freedom From Religion Act. Uh, Sam, what is, what is so bothersome about having donated Bibles in, in uh, Navy lodging space. So the issue here is that the Navy represents our government. And under the Constitution, the government cannot show a preference for one religion over another or for religion over non-religion. Uh, we received complaints from a couple of our members who claim that in over 20 plus years of service in our U.S. military, in every Navy lodge they've ever been in, uh, there's only one religious text in those hotel rooms, and that's the Bible. This shows an impermissible preference for religion over non-religion by the Navy. We sent our letter in order to request that the Navy remain neutral toward religion as required by the Constitution, Constitution which they um, swore to uphold and defend. Well, the Constitution, only in Article 4, makes it clear that there shall be no religious test it also deals with the establishment of religion. Uh, continue with you, Sam, for just a second. How is having a religious text, whether it's the Bible or the teachings of Buddha or the Book of Mormon, how is that an endorsement of religion? Well, the Constitution, the Establishment Clause specifically, um, goes beyond just establishing a religion. It actually stands for the principle that the government must remain separate from religion. There must be a wall of separation between church and state. That is from a letter that, that Thomas Jefferson wrote the Danbury Baptist. It was quoted by, uh, by uh, Justice, uh, I'm sorry, I believe it was uh, uh, not Justice Stone, but, but one of the judges in the 1940s in a case. The, the term separation of church and state appears nowhere in the Constitution. Well, if our rights in this country were limited to the literal phrases in the Constitution, we wouldn't have... Um, a, a right to a fair trial. We wouldn't have uh, the, we wouldn't have a, a variety of rights that we do have in this country because the Constitution is interpreted by the Supreme Court. And fortunately, the Supreme Court has interpreted that we have a freedom from religion and government in this country, which helps to preserve the freedom of religion. And, and thus, thus the name of your organization, Freedom From Religion. Let me bring in the chaplain again, uh, Dr. Klingenschmidt. Uh, you've listened to some of this back and forth. I'm just very interested. You're, you're a former Navy chaplain. Uh, yes. Is there something you mentioned writing the, the chairman of the, of the House Armed Services Committee? What other action should be taken or will be taken, either in court or elsewhere on this? Well, thank you. First of all, our thanks should go to our sailors in uniform and uh, soldiers and airmen and Marines who sacrificed so much to defend religious freedom for other people, and now they're being denied the freedom of the press for themselves. You know, the, uh, with all due respect to my opponent here, uh, there are domestic enemies of the Constitution who hate the First Amendment, who hate freedom of the press. 
and they want to ban Bibles or maybe they're going to do a book burning next. Here's a quote from a maid who was told by the Navy Admiral, we were told today, 23 June, that due to a new policy from Admiral Robert Bianchi, we were to remove Bibles from the rooms. They told us to put them in, bo put them in boxes where they would be taken to a donation center somewhere. So instead of doing something positive, maybe they, the atheists would print their own books, or maybe they would uh, allow Muslims to print the Quran. or I know in Marriott hotels sometimes the Mormons provide a free copy of the Book of Mormon. Instead of doing something positive like that, they want to forbid us from exercising our freedom of the press and giving away free Bibles paid for by the Gideons. I pray that everybody donates to the Gideons this week, and I also pray that you will call your congressman, uh, or particularly the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, Buck McKeon. His phone number is 202-225-1956. And as and you put out the call for, for Buck McKeon, we appreciate that. Let me, let me return to Sam for just a second. Sam, you heard the chaplain say, what about a variety of different texts? In addition to the Holy Bible, the Book of Mormon, the teachings of Buddha, uh, a Hindu text, uh, perhaps even from humanists or atheists, uh, a book entitled The Folly of Religious Faith. Why not a variety of different texts allowed in the room? Would that satisfy the freedom from religion group? So uh, this is not about freedom of the press. This is about the Navy showing a preferential treatment to the Bible over other religious texts. And actually in our letter, uh, the Freedom From Religion Foundation did offer to donate the Skeptics Annotated Guide to the Bible uh, to be put in hotel rooms alongside the Bible. Instead, what the Navy has decided to do is to remove the Bibles from the hotel rooms with the assist assistance of the uh, Navy's chaplaincy offices and at that point, the individual on-base chaplain offices are going to decide how best to deal with those Bibles. Uh, let me turn to Dr. Klingenschmidt, a former Navy chaplain. Dr. Klingenschmidt, uh, our president constitutionally is also our commander in chief. Could he move with one of his vaunted executive orders or just a direct order to every branch of the military, including the United States Navy, to stop? Uh, pulling religious texts and Bibles out of their lodging uh, quarters? Absolutely he could, but the problem is President Obama's track record has been anti-Christian in so many ways. They're purging religious symbols from veteran chapel buildings under repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. The president has forced military, forced military chaplains to facilitate homosexual marriages and turn over the keys to their Protestant chapel or even the Catholic chapel so the altar can be desecrated in all 50 states with these uh, you know, uh, ceremonies that don't celebrate Christianity. Uh, they're consistently moving against military chaplains like me who want to pray in Jesus' name. The, their spokesman has been threatening court-martial for any soldier who talks about Jesus. At the Air Force Academy, they threatened cadets and they erased their whiteboards because they printed Bible verses on the whiteboards in their public space. They're purging freedom of religious expression. And I think that's the atheist ma mantra is, is we don't want to express our religion because we don't have a religion. Therefore, nobody else can talk about Jesus. Nobody else can print the Bible. You must ban religion. Well, that's imposing a secular anti-religion on the rest of us, and they're the ones violating the separation of church and All state. All right, Chaplain, not us. Let, let's let Sam get the last word in, and, and I'd like a comment on this, Sam. What is the long-term goal? If, if it is to, to eliminate expressions of faith and religious text, uh, do you want to see the elimination of chaplains of all faith from military service? Uh, our goal at the Freedom From Religion Foundation is to have a government that remains neutral towards religion. Uh, and by Christians neutral, does that mean absence? Should there be an elimination of this? Christians have for a long time experienced a uh, certain uh, protections in this country that go above and beyond what the Constitution provides simply by being the majority faith in this country. They have experienced religious privilege. That's uh, again, not religious my question equality. is, do you want to see chaplains of any faith or all faiths eliminated from the military, Sam? Oh, no, the chaplaincy program is um, provided to our military members. Fair Over enough. 24%. We appreciate that. We're up against the clock to you both. We thank you for your time and we'll continue.